Hi everyone, back again talking about mobile sheets. Today we're going to talk about how to write on your music, how to write uh, write on your PDF on your tablet. I get that question all the time from musicians if I'm in a rehearsal and I need to edit, how do I do that? Let's load up a song and once you tap on the song, there will be icons at the bottom. We're only going to focus on the little pencil icon right in the middle. And this allows you to write on your music using your stylus, typing lots of different ways. Right now, I'm going to use my stylus that came with my tablet. And I'm simply going to write a uh, tacit first time. I can do it in blue. I can go down and you can change the color of what you just wrote to black. Uh, we can change it to, uh, I guess, red. And you can see you can change it to any color that you want. And once you click on the arrow icon, you can move it anywhere you want to on the music. Very easy, very simple. Just like writing on real music. You can change the thickness of the line, you know, that your stylus will create. And you can do it before you write it or after you write it. And here you can get as thick, you know, I mean, obviously that's ridiculous. Or you can get pretty thin. I usually am like about a two or a three on there. And of course, anything you write, you can erase. And you will only erase what you wrote. You won't erase anything from the music that's actually written, actually printed on the PDF. You have a highlighting option as well. I know a lot of guys like to highlight uh, like the repeat. Uh, DSL coder kind of a thing so you can highlight anything you want and again of course you can erase it and if you have terrible handwriting like I have like I just showed you what you can do is click on that little A draw a box it doesn't really matter what size the box is click in the little box that comes up and your keyboard comes up and I'm gonna type uh, what's say play second time or something and once you type that in see it shows up on your screen typed you can move it around just like you can anything else change the color it happened to be red but of course you can make it any color you want i did it red so it can show up on the video and you can also change the size of the font as well so it's really easy to use you can make any edits that you normally can with uh, pencil and paper if you're using music and of course you can erase it another very cool feature is something that's called stamp the stamp is basically any musical notation half notes quarter notes anything from i think a 64th note up to like a whole note uh shows up and it has stems up stems down and uh, you have sharps, you have flats, you have trills, you have dynamics, crescendos, diminuendos, anything that you could think of musically, any music notation, instead of writing it, they have it already printed for you. So right now, uh, just do like a half note with the stem going up, just to show you how it's done. I'm going to try and get a blank measure here. Just simply click in the measure, and like everything else, you can drag and drop it any way you want. You can move it down, you can move it up, make it any note that you want. And uh, yeah, if you wanted the stems to go down, it does have a uh, icon for the stem to go down. Let's try something else. Let's do like a dynamic here. We'll do like piano, and it's gonna come up really big. And I'm gonna do that purposefully to show you. Uh, oops, hold on, let me just hit the icon and bring it up and you see it's really way too big for this piece of music well just like everything else you can change the size of the font by the little menu that's down here or you can go into its own menu and you can uh, use your pen and change the, the size of the font that way click OK and yes anything you write on there you can save it's not a problem for mobile sheets to do any of that. I hope this helps uh, with the question of can I use it at a rehearsal or can I use it uh, to edit my music because you absolutely can and I highly recommend it. Hope this helps.